All right, guys. I'm here with my cousin Eugene, Eugene NYC on Instagram, Judo Shintaro NYC on Instagram. What do we lose when they ban leg grabs in judo? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Judo's better now. I mean, it is good. Judo's very good. You know, statistically driven IJF competitions to make more action happen. I love that kind of stuff. But for me, a big portion of my game was lost, right? Because when I'm doing judo with taller guys who are much bigger and taller, and then I get out gripped. Boom. Okay, this is kind of an issue here. Now, I'll try to gain back position or go to Monaga and go to the ground, okay? Back in the day, when they have this really, really deep grip, I would just duck here and then shoot another leg and then hope for a, a lifting squinage or teguruma or I'd even go for the opposite leg. And it was a nice way to time the hand coming over the back. So maybe like, we're doing judo, you guys can pulse on the hand here, right? and we're doing judo and then the hand's coming over the back here, I could dive underneath the legs here and then potentially use it to escape losing position from standing. So I think that was kind of huge. I don't think that specifically is good for the sport because it gives you an out and then you kind of just start spamming leg grabs. So, but here's a good one back in the day, which was very nice. If the person goes over the shoulder for Georgian, you could enter here, pop your hips here, lift, and then you could take him up and over this way. Ready to take a break, folks? <laughs> Jordan's coming. I time it lift. Take him over. Nice classic Tate Ruma. Thank you, Eugene. Professional Uke because we didn't even warm up. We were actually just doing shoulder PT that, on my shoulder. That is my warm up. Yeah. So that's a method. And it's kind of nice because when you have two hands on the gi and you have dominant position, instead of committing all the way with your hips forward or using your legs, you can do these kinds of techniques where you just dive for the cross body. Like, right, that's one of my favorites here. When I have this dominant position, right, he goes right versus right, boom, and I have his two hands on, he's super aware that I'm in winning position. So attacking Osoto, turn throw, harai, all that stuff is available. He could also just grab a leg if I willy-nilly throw his leg out there, okay? Generally with the hand that's not, I'm not controlling. But I could also pull, take this angle, come through, and drive for a leg grab of myself, right? Which is a very nice option. We did lose something, right? Very special when we're doing leg grabs, but naturally when we're shooting it on the legs, we're both protective of our legs. So our posture sort of comes down here, which makes it look a little bit more like a wrestling match. We're trying to gain to go underneath our opponent and beat our opponent's head and arms. Okay, those are the two lines of defense first. If I have two hands in between our body, for him to shoot into my leg is very difficult. If I don't have the arms, my forehead to forehead, if you try to shoot on the legs, and if I change my levels, it starts to get to my legs, all right? So it naturally brings the hips back more, which means there's less big throws. It's a lot more difficult to come into here and then go for big shooting lifts, epons and agis, big osada guys, right? So yes, it's kind of sad that we lost it, but because there's no more leg grabs, we tend to favor a more upright posture, which makes it easier to access the foot sweeps. Bang, foot sweeps, foot sweeps, big turn throws, right? So in so many ways, it's pretty good. You know, people will argue like, oh, in the streets, in the streets. In the streets, no one's taking the stance. You get kicked in the face. Generally, we're here, right? And we're playing this range game. And now I've closed the distance and he's not gonna be proactively defending leg grabs by throwing his hips back because it's so easy for me to start blasting with my knees, right? So in sort of, if you watch any sort of MMA, there's a lot more upper body stuff. No one's favoring this kind of a shot. And when you're playing a grappling sport with leg grabs and there's no repercussions for striking, you know, especially in judo, the guillotine, standing guillotine, you may get penalized for cranking out the net. So you sort of have this thing, which causes a lot of stalemates, right? which slows the pace of the match down and then reduces action. So that's one thing. Another thing that we lost <laughs> when we got a bit of leg grabs is this one. This three range judo. Now, you can't really attack from out here. There's no attacks here. Before, you would come out and then he would reach for the collars, right? And you could slap the hand out and it's shooting on a leg here. Back, right, before. So you have no handed judo where you're fainting out here, right? Diving into the legs, right? And now there's faking the legs, one-handed judo where you have one hand on. Adjusting, going here, 
ball, right? Just a simple leg pick here, ankle picks, right? Ankle pick like this, or even that's a low single. Those kinds of options. And then there's two-handed judo, the classically, and you're locked up 50-50 here, okay? And there was a beautiful interplay between the three. You're out here, faking the shot, punching, moving, one hand leg grab, snap down, right? Yeah, here, yeah, right? Fast. up here, lifting, right? It's a beautiful thing. We lost that. For the better or for good, I don't know. There's pros and cons and all this stuff. But I mean, like, let's look at a low single, right? If you're playing an outside game, no hand to judo game, you're running here, you're moving here, he steps forward, then he like, bang! Low single coming here and taking the person down. Is it good for the sport? Eh. You can make the martial arts argument of like fighting. I'm going for a low single. You get booted in the head. Good, bad, ugly, I don't know, what do you think? There's always like if this, then, then yeah. that. So it kind of just changes the, the game depending on your, your perspective. You might yeah. lose, lose certain, certain things like this three dimensional, like the yeah. no points of contact yeah. in judo. But there's also the, the gain of having this like upright two, two hands on yeah. locked, in, locked in position too. Yeah, for sure. I think it goes both ways. It is sad to see that era being done. And I think a lot of the argument is like fighting based. Right? Yeah. It's like, ah, oh, in a real fight, this and that. In a real fight, no one's standing like this. You know what I mean? In a real fight, no one's running a gi. Right? There's no perfect system for fighting. No perfect martial art for it. It's a combination of a lot of things for it. Like my business idea, Pocket said. You stick your hand in, you got sand, and you throw it in their eyes. Yeah. Right? That's the ultimate martial art That's right the there. the best martial art, right? And even pulling guard. It's like, I'm changing my tone on that. You know, like if Eugene has better throwing abilities and he locks me up and then takes me down, uh, why not pull my guard and then go into open guard? Maybe he's passing the system sucks. Who knows? What do you think about judo, dojos, adding in some of this, this stuff just for, just for training? I think it's like, a great thing, you know? I think majority of the dojos out there have gyms where a very, very small percentage of people actually compete. Mm -hmm. To know some of this stuff and attack judo in a holistic way, they're like, hey, overall grappling, kind of like this. There's this umbrella thing called grappling, right? To not teach any of this stuff, I don't think is a great thing, you know, but if you have a room full of competitors trying to make it on the IJF circuit, Obviously, you can't be doing leg grabs and stuff that get you penalized in competition. You but know? that's a small percentage of the dojos that have you know yes. those those people yeah. that are actively competing in a high level. Yeah. In, the, in those IJF circuits. Yeah. And this is the thing too, man. You teach people leg grabs now. Everyone's standing like this, and they don't mm -hmm. really learn how to throw anybody. They learn how to not get taken down and not get thrown and just be defensive. That's not really judo either, right? Mm -hmm. So there's a fine line. I think everyone should be able to learn how to finish a single leg. Right versus left, he comes out. He lefty, he goes to the collar. I break this hand, I pull here, go for a single hit, right? Bang, right here, okay? Pinch the knees together, have my hands free. Clear this to the outside. High, here, boom, run the pipe, switch to a double, right? Something like this, sort of basic wrestling fundamentals. I think all Jadoka should know it. Yeah, I mean, not that I really teach this stuff on the regular in the dojo, but I think we will. Thank you guys for watching. Oops, thank you, Eugene. All right, a little rambly, how many minutes, 12 minutes?